Alright, so I'm starting off on this Blake Island right here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create the area of the first person. So just to give you a good visual around it, um, let's make a square here. You can make it the whole map if you want. I'll just make it like a little square just to make it easier to show. And then I'll probably just put like a cube just to signify the start. Okay, now from here, actually let me scale up a little. Okay, from here, what you're going to do is you're going to click on this blocking volume, right? So you're on it, go down bottom right, position presets, change the invisible wall to fort camera only. This will be like right under fort supply drop and on fort water. Alright, so that should be good. So let's go see how it looks so far. Alright, so now that we start our game, if we go to the zone, we're going to see our camera shifts, but there's no uh, weapons yet, so um, yeah, let's go back in Unreal and fix it. Alright, now that we're back in Unreal, uh, I'm going to go to my content folder, and then right click, and we're going to make the HUD, or the, you know, the interface, with the gun in it. So I'm going to just name it HUD underscore AR. Because it's going to be relevant to the AR. Alright, so I got my, I got it back. Uh, yours probably would look like this if you didn't change anything. Um, all you're going to do is drag the canvas panel. And then, what you're going to do now is you're going to find a first person, like, picture. Plugin. Um, I searched up first person AR Fortnite Bing. And I got like a bunch, so it shouldn't be too hard. Or you can custom make him, whatever is your choice. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drag it into the project first. Alright, so once I dragged it in, what you're going to do is you're going to open this widget. And then you're going to drag it in. It only works if it's in the green area, so just keep that in mind. And now, to scale it, you can scale it, but um, it's really weird right now. So, I kind of have this, a little cheat sheet. I'll post this in the description just to make it easier. So just set that in position X, position Y, and then these four. Alright, so now that we got all that set up, um, I'm going to press compile. Alright, and um, to make it actually work, all you have to do is to activate it, just go into devices, search up HUD. And then we're going to get this message device. I'm going to just drag it in to the first person zone. It doesn't really matter where you put it because it's going to be invisible. Now on the bottom right, where you see HUD widget, you're going to uh, put whatever you named your thing you just created, the blueprint. Um, and then for the placement, what you can do is gonna change the placement to custom and then screen anchor to bottom right. Alright. Now it's not really activated yet, so we're gonna figure out a way to activate it. So first I need to bring out my assault rifle. Let's just get let's get a blue one. So this thing has an event and on item picked up, it'll trigger something else. Which is really handy so we're gonna go back to the HUD message device and then go show I'm gonna just eye drop I drop the assault rifle and then on item picked up so when you pick up the AR the HUD will pop out with your weapon all right so let's hop in and see how it looks Alright, so now that we're in your game, I'm going to go into the first person. Um, pick up the AR. And then I had to manually equip it, but as you can see, now we have an AR. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if you have any more suggestions or comments or things you want to see covered, drop it in the comments below and then I'll get back to it.